In this video, we will explain the importance of using permalinks in Brightspace so that your students can access the resources that Dalhousie Libraries subscribe to. Using permalinks to connect to subscription resources like journal articles is important for three specific reasons, authentication, reporting, and licensing. Let's begin by discussing authentication. Permalinks allow students and other authorized users to log in and access our electronic resources. These links are stable and less likely to change or become broken over time. Providing a permalink ensures the users are directed to a page where they can log in and authenticate themselves as Dalhousie users. Once they have logged in, users will be able to proceed to a given resource such as an article or an electronic book, also called an ebook. Moving on to reporting, Dalhousie Libraries subscribe to a lot of resources. In order to effectively manage and evaluate the use of these resources, we need to know how often they are being accessed and downloaded. We manage our subscription budget and make decisions using this kind of data. When students in your course access an article using a permalink rather than a PDF, we can capture those download statistics. When it comes time to make decisions about our subscription resources, we can use this download data to see which resources are actually being used. On the topic of licensing, libraries negotiate different licenses with vendors, and some of these vendors do not allow use of their materials in electronic reserves, also known as e-reserves, or course packs, but they do allow linking of their material. You can find out how an article can be used by clicking the Copyright and Permissions Information link from an article's SFX page. The SFX page, often called the Link Resolver page, displays the various sources that the library may use to provide access to an electronic resource, such as a journal article or an ebook. For example, I have found this article, Translating M.A. Césaire through a Novanet search. I have clicked the full text available link from the Novanet entry and arrived at this sfxhosted.xlibrisgroup.com page. On this SFX page, there is a small link called Copyright and Permissions Information. Clicking this link will show me the common permitted and prohibited uses for this resource. In this case, the article is from an open and permissive journal that allows use in e-reserves, course packs, linking, and the article can be sent to other libraries through interlibrary loan. If you ever have questions about a specific resource, please email copyright.office at dal.ca. To learn more about licenses, go to licenses.library.dal.ca, and we've also linked to the vendor licenses tutorial video in the description below. Let's discuss using permalinks. Hopefully, we've convinced you on the value of using permalinks instead of loading the PDF into Brightspace. Now, let's talk about how to actually do it. You have two options for adding permalinks to your course site. Adding them yourself, or submitting your reading list to our e-reserve service and having them do it for you. Using the library's e-reserve service means that library staff will create permalinks to as many of your course readings as possible. If we do not have a resource, we may be able to order it through interlibrary loan, license the resource for your course, or purchase a copy for our collection. If you are an instructor and want to take advantage of our course e-reserve service and your reading list is complete, stop the video and head to the course e-reserves link in the description below. Interested in adding permalinks to your course site yourself? Let's walk through a few ways to do that. Unfortunately, not every database links to resources in exactly the same way. Let's look at how to use permalinks in some of the library's commonly used databases. Let's say you're looking for a resource on palliative care and respiratory disease. Enter the search terms palliative care and respiratory disease in the Novanet basic search bar found on libraries.dal.ca. We found the 2013 ebook Integrated Palliative Care of Respiratory Disease by Burke, Peel, and Timothy. Click on the title to see the record for the book. The second block of the entry is titled Send To and contains a permalinks button. Click this button to generate a permalink. Click the text Copy the Permalink to Clipboard to copy the link. You can then paste this link in a syllabus, Brightspace, Content Module, or send it to other authorized users directly. When you use this link, all users need to do is click the Online Access link near the top of the catalog entry, 
Then click the link, check for full text access restricted, DAO users only. This will bring users to the login screen where they can enter their NetID and password to access the book. By accessing the book in this way, you've used a permalink that provides good data for the reporting the library needs. It also allows you to adhere to licensing requirements and lets users authenticate with minimal fuss. Now let's say you're working in a different database and you would like to provide a link directly from that database. Go to libraries.dal.ca, select the Databases tab from the search interface, and enter Academic Search Premier. Click Academic Search Premier from the list of displayed results. You may have to log in with your NetID and password if you are off campus. Next, let's enter a few search terms in the Academic Search Premier interface. Let's search using the terms Canada and climate change. Select the 2016 article, Fighting Climate Change, A Class Struggle by Bernard Rue. Using the menu bar on the right side of the screen, click permalink. You can then select and copy the permalink that appears. Another way that you can provide stable, authenticated access to an article is by combining the Easy Proxy URL and the Digital Object Identifier, or DOI to link directly to an article. You can do this in several steps. Step one, note the easy proxy URL. In this case, we will use http colon slash slash easyproxy.library.dal.ca slash login question mark URL equals. Step two, next, add the DOI resolver URL, which is doi.org. Step three, finally, add the DOI from the article which is 10.1108-1017674991003034964906 for this example. Now you have something that looks like this, which can also be found in the accompanying script. The DOI or digital object identifier can act as a permalink for articles that have DOIs. Combined with the Easy Proxy, which is Dalhousie Library's authentication service, you can get access to any article if you know the DOI and have a DAO login. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie Libraries, check out the links in the description below.